Oh, hi. How's it going? Great? I sure hope so. Because you wonderful people deserve the best. And let's see. Today, 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 I've got you, Jibber, okay, versus Pax to the Max Ajax. Playing as good old you as ever. Immediately locking in that heavy cavalry. Might see some Pershing action here if we get lucky. Oh, oh, look at this. We are being treated to a different opening here from Jibber as he goes for double Stern Pioneers. Anywho, Jibber, what do you got for us? You got Elite Armor, Grand Defensive, mm -hmm, Tiger Tank, uh huh, Overwatch for the Jaegers. Uh, Kuppelwagen also coming out. That is sure to annoy Pax. I Meanwhile, speaking of Pax, all this wire does prevent a little bit of the green cover, but still, some is quite usable. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's see. Not the players are not on a collision course just yet, but they'll get there. I mean, I hope they will. Otherwise, this is going to be a boring cast. You know, just no shots fired. Then we'll have a contest of who can build the prettiest base. And by default, Pax may just lose as he's stuck with this default thing. Anywho, shots fired. And there we are. Kubelwagen rolling in. Pax checking out. If he can. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty neat here. Good Kubel micro there from Jibber. Oh, those men. There is no healing available for them. So they are going to be a burden in the next engagement. Oh, base defense here even kicking in. All right, pizza base coming in handy dandy there. One man down, soon to be two man down. No disengages. Man, even at that distance there, he could have gotten some kills if it weren't for all of these men coming out. But hey, hiding around the corner. MP40s or Sturmgewehrs rather on load. Yeah, these men. That's Sturmgewehr. Yeah, yeah. They are not called Sturm Pioneers for nothing. Ooh. Hey, you forgot about Johnny. Johnny is stuck at the base. Anyway, Kubelwagen. Let's get some, uh, let's get some kills on the Kubelwagen. And would you look at this, Jibber, Grand Offensive, we got... Panzer Fusiliers. And for a moment there, I forgot what they were called. Oh, snipe them on. Also, it looked like they can't actually snipe anyone, even with this thing here. Meanwhile, the Kubelwagen is, like... Please shoot me! Shoot me! But Pax. Keep targeting what can bleed. But Pax himself could lose the squad. He did. And that's GG for the USF. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you did. See you later. Let's see if Pax he can... Uh, can do something here it's not the end of the world oh but this might be the end of this rifleman squad no 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 oh no well that's a rough start this build here by jibber may have caught pax off guard it's not often that we see uh Double Sturms be used. It's not meta yet. <sighs> and will it be? It's, it's hard to say. I mean, double Sturms. Sturm Pioneers costing 300 manpower and also 30 men to reinforce, you know. And now, Volksgrenade? What? Why would he go for Volksgrenadiers? No, okay, there we are. Cancelled it. Panzerfusiliers, it is. Crew stand ready. 
I mean, I could better understand if we opened up with a uh, false grenadiers and get in and went with panzerfusiliers. Since uh, the false grenadiers, they do have better initial damage output. And the Kubelagn is just looking for some pioneers to repair them. Should be easy now that there are two of them. By the way, four and three kills. It's actually been the unit to not quite kill the most. I mean, they're lacking behind the Kubelwagen of all things. So the Sturm Pioneer opening here has really paid off for Jibber. All right. All right. Uh, Pax. Got the LT on the field. Mechanized platoon command post unlocked. It's probably gonna be a Stuart. He has replaced his rifles. Oh, 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 what do I spy? An M5 mine. Should be a... Uh, should be a good spot here, I mean. Could get the Kubelwagen. Stone Pioneers goes in, Stone Pioneers goes out. Not quite. I thought they charge. And now Jibber, he is at the risk of losing these. Nope, not anymore. There's the... F there's a big retreat. And the mine. Yep. Needs the tick in order to get the grenade and see here moving into a bit of position seemingly. Flanking him here. There we have the Kubelwagen and Pax checks out once again. <laughs> Stop! Kubelwagen, you were supposed to get repaired! What about it, Pax? Are we gonna see the Stuart? Or are you gonna save? Nope. Not gonna save the resources. He's going for the Stuart. And with the Stuart on the field, things should be a bit more stable for Pax. Just a bit more. That is, until Jibber goes for the Puma. If he actually goes for any of these two here. Puma it is. All right. What's the build time? I think the Puma is like 50, yeah, 50 seconds. Meanwhile, the Stuart is also 50. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot of time that the Stuart is going to have by itself here on the field. All right, dead. That sure got him. Sonderkraftfahrzeug 234 on the field. And this Sonderkraftfahrzeug would roughly ch chance translate to special power vehicle. <laughs> but hey, Jibber! Feeling a bit sorry for Pax, decided to throw away a couple of his squads, you know, just to make the game a little bit more interesting, so thanks, Jibber. Though I'm pretty sure Jib didn't do it on purpose, and what do we have here? Uh oh, yep. That's an AT grenade, but uh, let's see over here. They are getting gunned down. Retreat there. Kubel is safe. Oh, this ambulance here is a bit exposed, but... Uh, yes, it can actually see it, but... Not willing to risk it. Yeah, these, he, he briefly thought about it. You can see that with the Puma inching a tiny bit forward, but... Pax with his rifleman there, ready with the snare. That's a no-go for Jibber. Unless you wanted to get snared and have to deal with Stuart. But in terms of raw firepower, Puma, 
I'd say it's the best one, but then again, the steward has some uh, good utilities to harass other vehicles. You know, it's blinding shot and all it's crippling engine shot, which gives it a the vehicle that hits t a temporary engine damage or light engine damage, as it's called. Cripple, crippling shot. Minus 40 damage on the steward's main gun. Isn't that like... What does it do of damage? 80. Okay, so half the damage. <laughs> and five mine completed. Okay, Jibber. We are gonna see a Panzer 2 here. Gotta see a Panzer 2. It is, of course, a lot of fuel uh, Jibber has decided to invest into his uh, light vehicles here. And Pax... I don't think he's... T yeah. Not yet the Major. But, has he gone for... No. Weapon rack not yet unlocked. He may want to unlock it. Just so he can get some souks onto his uh, rear echelons. They'll help keep the Panzer II at a distance and also help deal with the Puma. Because the steward here, yep, it, it is not a big damage dealer when it comes to um, fighting tanks and light vehicles. Certainly not medium tanks. But hey, one little steward here, he can only do so much. Oh, 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 someone hit a mine or something. Oh, no, 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 no. He's on hold fire. He wanted to micro this. Here comes the... Target ground! Dead. Uh, ooh, he actually used the aim shot ability here. This will damage the engine of a light vehicle, turn on lock enemy tanks, stun turtle vehicle, blah blah blah, blah lots of things to, that it can do. Now, packs. Weapon rack has been unlocked. He needs to get this thing recruited pretty quickly because as you can see here the puma is trying to destroy it but it's just so little gun jibber he's like hey i want a panzer 4 so i'll get a new panzer 2 oh get it get it 2 plus 2 equals 4 oh, quick math Sooks here. Let's see. They do carry one sook. Little T. I think it's one sook. Can't really tell. Take another shot. Yeah, that reload animation taking a while and he missed all that effort for nothing. Well, at least Pack still has fuel. Maybe I spoke too soon. Looks, looks, Puma. Lots of cats here. And now rangers. Yeah. Pax. He's probably gearing up towards a Pershing tank. I've seen him do this before. Letting rangers carry bazookas. Which are supposed to hold the enemy at bay until he can get out the Pershing. But seen this many uh, light vehicles here from your opponent then perhaps a regular Sherman wouldn't be a bad pick 
No, 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 not at all. Not at all. A regular Sherman that will be able to handle these things here. Well, Puma could be an issue, as it is racking up quite a bit of veterans here. That vet four, this thing here. Damn. Almost go toe to toe with the Sherman, I dare say. Well, it depends on uh, how you micro your Puma and how your opponent micro his Sherman. But by all means, it is an excellent AT support unit once it gets up to vet four. Whoa, talk about getting defensorized. Yes, that is actually an English word, defensorized. And yes, it means exactly what you think it means. Things getting thrown out of the window. Well, is there... Is there a mechanic in this house? We need lots of repairs here. Yeah, he lost one of his derms. Oh, engine hit, engine hit, losing power. Any help coming down there? Not really. Oh, no, 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 he stopped, he stopped moving. That's, that's a dead, that's a dead, it's dead. Oh, well. Rip! One less uh, vehicle for packs to worry about. Yeah, well, it, it was the Kubelwagen, so it must count for something. Pax, he's just gonna take all the victories that he can get. Some munitions were also spent. One on one AT grenade, at least, you no know, snare. That thing, I'm, what I'm looking for here. Yes, extra bazookas. That was what I was looking for. Lieutenant carrying a souk extra. And still only one souk on the rear echelons. So we got three bazookas. It's not a lot. But it's what we got. Okay, retreating here. Bam. And this is... Jibber being jibber. We got no medics, no Sverdepanzer headquarters, but we are about to see another Puma. Man, this must be the equivalent of uh, Age of Empires going all in on Castle Age, not taking up to the Imperial Age. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's it. This finger could also die. Oh, that's that's a shame. Losing that looks. Oh boy, Jibber. That's a lot of fuel gone up in up in smoke there. A lot of fuel. Fifteen fuel can be salvaged. Oh man, there were an M5 mine. Two souks here, can get a volley off, yeah, but... Ah. Into the house, exit the house. Ooh, 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 get in, get in, get in the building, get in the... He didn't get in the building. Alright. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And smoke! Ha, pocket sand. And he escapes. So, a lieutenant for a Panzer two. And a lot more. Pax just lost another unit. Lost an oh well. So who's ahead? Who's ahead in this game here? Jibber now goes for another Puma. All right, he's he must be expecting uh, Pax pumping out a tank at any moment. He may be pumping out the major. Yeah. Major is being pumped. We're losing a capture point. That's it. Keep it coming. Be assault. Be around and hit that damn flank. Ha ha ha. 
A capture point is under attack. What could Pax use? That's a good question that I ask myself. Just released a major for could go for a tank. And he is. He's going for the Sherman. So, one Sherman versus two Pumas. Interesting matchup. Interesting matchup indeed. I might fear that the Sherman will, will be uh, struggling against the two cats here. While they are not the biggest cats, they has potential to do a lot of damage to the Sherman. Let's not forget one of them is Vet 2, giving it extra range, sight range. And also a more accuracy and sight. Uh, not sight, reload speed. So yeah. Sight range, accuracy, reload speed. Good. And there it is. Welcome to the front line, Sherman. Hope you brought your A game. You are definitely going to need it. You are up against some rough adversaries here. The enemy has the number advantage when it comes to armor. But, uh, this thing here just do more damage per shot. If it, of course, hits and penetrates, but it's not like these armored cars here have a ton of armor. But he has uh, high explosive shells. Can he still penetrate that? Those high explosive shells uh, even struggle with destroying team weapons. At least from what I have seen myself. Not fun. Super Rangers. 100%. Carrying two souks, three souks. Alrighty then. Launch away, boys. Well, if that one souk had connected, it might have been a dead puma. Just might have been a dead puma. Still no healing here. Look at this. Jibber has so much manpower. Um, I suppose a heavy machine gun would actually be beneficial for him here. You know, help get some suppression in on all of these things. And also help lock down the middle victory point. Maybe even a Raketan. Nah, not, not a Raketan. We got two Pumas and a, uh, a Bazooka. So Raketan may not be that badly needed. Here comes the snare. He's got a lock. And a hit. Yeah. Transmission hit. Do we? Yes. There are repair pioneers available. And would you look at that? Green cover there. But oh, what is Pax doing? He's... Yeah. Fall back. Shoo, Ranger boys. And now Jibber is like, all right then. I'll take up to Imperial Age. <laughs> Rip. Oh wow. That little grenade does did a lot of damage there. It even looked like they had cleared the grenade, but apparently not. Oh, this thing here is just a little bit zero puma. Not that dangerous yet, but oh smoke it! Oh, miss, 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 miss. Still on high explosive shells. Did penetrate. Bam a lamb! Got the Sherman, but lost one Puma, but it that was the vet zero one, so worth it. 
And this thing escapes almost up to bit three, which, oh yeah, boosts the damage. And if I'm not mistaken, the damage will be boosted up to 160. Yeah, that seems about right. Anywho, new Sherman for PAX. And Jibber now goes for the heavy machine gun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Panzer headquarters coming on down. Not like he can get any tanks, but hey, at least he can get this big gun firing if anyone comes near. And Pax's men, as seen, they have gotten pretty close to the base. So this here is going to be a little bit of extra protection for Jibber. Another heavy machine gun. Bringing out the big guns. Tank support is here. Sherman ready. Listen up. Ready. MG thirty four squad is ready for orders. Even now going for uh yeah, going for that other Raketen. So with the Raketen and uh, the Sverdepanzer headquarters up, Jibber is done with the light vehicles here. Aiming. Bamalang. Turret is... It's, it, yeah, I can't move it. Switch to manual. Not working either. Oh well. And yep, still stuck. That actually lasts a long time. Still stuck? Okay, there we go. Got some grease in there. It's rotating again. Ready to execute. <laughs> and now Jibber is like, all right, let's get some healing. <laughs> 27 minutes in. And Pax is like, all right, to complete the double MG game. So he's going for his own heavy machine gun. Jibber, however, his territory and I feel a sneeze. I think we're safe. Or not. <coughs> Us. Ah, apparently the uh, mute button on uh, my... Uh, Mixer didn't work. What the hell? Aim shot? What is he aiming at? One infantry man. <laughs> All right then. 45 munitions, that guy. That guy. Yeah, that guy. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it tripped over a mine. Uh oh. oh. RPG, RPG, RPG. Here comes the Rangers. This is a dead Puma. Yep. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Smoke is not going to save him here. So, Jibber, what's next? Fuel has been depleted, manpower depleted. <laughs> His little gamble of going all in, but then not going all in on the light vehicles. Heavy machine gun down. I think Jibber may just have thrown in the towel. Yeah, playback over. Oh well. Jibber not being afraid of experimenting here. Um, fortunately for him, it just didn't pay off. Anywho. If you like that you saw something different, there's a like button down there. Press it.
Hey. Should help other people find the video as well, eh? Anywho, um, consider subscribing if you already haven't done so. Hmm? Dislike the video if you thought that this here was just not a serious match. No, it was like garbage. Then press the dislike button, okay? But otherwise, I think that's all what I got for you today. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you wonderful people later. Bye. But hey, you and me, we both know what's going to happen now. Stats! I wonder. No, none of the light vehicles actually made it here to the personal match stage overview thing. Yeah. Units killed. Ooh, a clean one-to-one. -one. Well, apparently he must have killed one of his own. <laughs> Anywho, damage dealt, quite even, blah, 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 blah. Let's move over to the graphs. Army value. Jiva riding high, but then came crashing down. And then Pax goes up, Pax goes down, Pax goes up, Pax goes down, Pax goes up, Pax goes down, Pax go up, Pax go down. But he managed to stay, for the most part, above the Jiva. Resource float was indeed floating, uh, and we can see here all the accumulated resources that you ever had just got flushed out of the system. Points held, the points were held. And Pax coming back. Well, you know what? After Pax lost those, what, two riflemen in the early game? I thought this would be a. <laughs> would be a, a lost game for Pax, but he he made the comeback. All right, then. Now, that's it. So, um, yeah, see you wonderful people later. Bye-bye.